In this episode, we knock onto the multi-million pound mansions of Wimbledon, asking to play in their private tennis courts. Wimbledon is the oldest tennis competition in the world, first starting in 1877. Apart from being famous for women and men grunting, it's also a really nice area to live, with the most expensive house recently selling for 17.5 million pounds, which is apparently the same amount of money Max Foch has in an offshore account. <clears throat> anyway, now we're never going to be invited to play Wimbledon, but it doesn't stop us from dreaming about playing on centre court. It's the most protected tennis court on the planet, where only the world's greatest ever get to play. But despite all that, we thought we'd give Wimbledon a shot anyway. Hi mate, I'm Rafael Nadal and this is Tim Henman. We've got centre court booked for a three hour training session. Now this man is about to tell us that we can't play centre court in Wimbledon, but we don't care. We don't need this place anyway. We don't need the centre court of Wimbledon. We're going to ask the mansions of London, see if we can see inside and play on their court. Yeah, Wimbledon. Now the security must have heard me bad mouth in Wimbledon because things were about to get sticky. We're in a very slow British pursuit. Don't <laughs> run this passage <laughs> in any direction. Should we actually run? Because they got an official guy looking with them. Well, that's not good. They've actually got the big security boss chasing after us. There was only one thing for it. Leg it! <laughs> Hola, como esta? Yes, boys and girls. We're back. Yeah, baby. And me and Jer have a score to settle. Who's better at tennis? I am. Guilty. <laughs> May the best men win. On both accounts. So that was it. We looked the part. Now all we needed to do was convince some very private people to let two strangers and a cameraman in. <laughs> this wasn't going to be an easy pitch. That's like the first gap. Massive place. Corner. What's your pitch going to be? I don't know. Hello. Hiya. This is going to be a very odd request, but do you have a private tennis court? Uh, not for external people. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> no worries at all. This is a devastating blow. With the first rejection under our belts, it was Jamie's turn to try his luck. Here we go. Here we go, f sake, here we go. There's loads of parcels by the door, so I don't think uh, there's anyone in. I'm not try. Two for two on rejections. Perhaps a nice old high five would boost team morale. Yeah. She needs to have a tennis court that we could use by any chance. I got no idea, I'm not from the area. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. She's just robbed that place. <laughs> We're looking for a tennis court to play some tennis. You go. Oh, okay. It's about 30 of them. We don't want to pay to play tennis. Look how much we look like we want to play tennis as well. <laughs> Stop. No, stop, man, you don't. You not? No. I don't know the better curly thing. The car is not answered. What? Excuse me? The car is not answered. The car. The car is what? And the car is not answered. The call is not answered. The car is not answered. The car is not answered. Hello? You 
you don't happen to have a call by any chance, do you? Right behind. Right behind. Perfect. Perfect. We'll right. give that a try. Do you know anyone with a tennis court by any chance? That was the most passive aggressive rejection. Rejection after rejection! This did not start well. How could so many people live in a mansion in Wimbledon without a tennis court? That's like watching a Zach and Jay show video and not subscribing. <clears throat> yes, I've stopped this entire sequence to tell you you need to like this video and subscribe. We're trying to hit a million subscribers by June and every like helps YouTube push our video to more people. So let's hit 30,000 likes, eh? Anyway, where was I? Here at the Zach and Jay Show, we believe you make your own luck, and our luck was about to change. Excuse me, sir. You don't happen to have a tennis court, do you? Yeah. You've got a tennis court? Yeah. All right. Do, just do we, you have a tennis court? No, I, I have a Japanese tea house. If you, you have a Japanese tea house? <laughs> yeah, can we see? <laughs> so we're making a video, knocking on houses in Wimbledon, see if we can play tennis, and now we're just knocking on more houses. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Well, we may have set out to play tennis on a private court, but here we were about to have a tour of this man's Japanese tea house. And yes, you're coming with us. Bamboo plants, koi fish ponds complete with fish, nice plants, building site, conservatory, and finally the main event, the authentic Japanese tea house, which he proceeded to tidy for about 10 minutes whilst we stood and watched him. I don't even know what's going on at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's nice, nice. nice to try. This is nothing actually. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Lovely. Nice. Thank you for showing us. After a quick round in his garden, we need to get back on track to stand any chance of securing a tennis court by the end of the day. Not quite a tennis court, that was it. Not quite a tennis court, but it's a tea house and tea house and garden. Right, should we carry on? Let's continue. Man's in the Champions League out here, human and near relegation. The one pop things all local. I'm with your intimidation. If I'm on the Beckham, I'm the Shearer. Quick question. Do you have a tennis court and can we play inside it? Why do you think I've got a tennis court? I don't know, you live in Wimbledon, so. Oh. You know, I definitely live in Wimbledon. It has a, I bet you got right. a higher percentage of tennis courts per square metre than anywhere else in the UK. Is that right? I don't know, I made it up. Yeah. This way, that way, you pick. Where should we head? That way. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I'll smell the tennis court. Thank you, sir. I think you'll go far as long as you keep a smile. After hearing that wonderful message, we were feeling confident. It was only a matter of time before someone said, yes, yeah, surely. Hello, sir. Hello. We would request, do you have a tennis court? No. So we can't play in it then? <laughs> it doesn't exist. <laughs> no, no worries. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you don't have a car. Oh. <laughs> Ugh, we've not spent the whole day knocking on doors to go home without settling the score. We needed to focus and channel the advice the man had given us earlier. You'll go far as long as you keep a smile. The secret was in a smile. If a smile is all we needed, then a smile is what they were getting. Smile, 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 smile. You'll go far, far. It was at this point I spotted a lady washing her car. So armed with my widest smile, I shot my shot with a married woman. Hiya. Hello. How are you doing today? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, great. Weird question. Do you know anyone with a private tennis court? I do, actually. You do? No. Yeah, I do. It's a very weird request, I know. They need a private court. Okay, I'll phone her. Hello. Hi. Hi. This was looking hopeful. We were one phone call away from bagging ourselves a private tennis court in one of the richest areas of London. Even the dog was excited. Okay, I found you a private court. You found us a court? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Her name is Nikki. Nikki. Just ring her doorbell. Thank you so much. Yeah. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Wimbledon. We 
we are filming today where we're knocking on the lovely house in Wimbledon and we're asking to play in their private tennis court. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. Well, in fact, this is what happened um, at the beginning of the pandemic. We had people passing saying, can we please play on your court? Because it's, at the moment, very difficult fundraising for charity. Yeah. So I said, well, if you give me a bit for charity, you can use the court. What, what is your what's charity, the, by the way? What's the charity? Home Farm Trust, which is for um, people with all sorts of learning difficulties. I've been vice chairman for... 40 years now. Oh, anyway, do go ahead. Thank you so much. We're here today at the annual Wimbledon Mansion Nikki Invitational. Today welcomes two fierce hot prospects of the sport. Tally Ho, Willie Slap Allsop and Russell Tovey meet today on centre court. The crowd's very split on this one. £100 of the loser goes to Nikki's charity today. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's play tennis. Baby, welcome to the party. I got the X, the shrooms, the acid Just so you can see I'm a savage I'm trying to sit home, I'm a savage Baby, welcome to the party She pulled up in the Benz, she came with a friend I told her, meet my nigga Bari yeah, I'm a villain, I'm feeling like Carti Yeah, you see the fit, I'm a dialect Oh, <laughs> there's a hole in your racket, lad Ah, uh, J1 all three games 